Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about a module which can measure power, current and voltage for DC supplies. Uh, in recent days we use a lot of renewable related projects and we design a lot of control circuits in DC. So we need to monitor the power, current and voltage in those circuits for either giving the protection or to know the status of the battery and things like that. So. Uh, it is essential to measure the current taken from the battery or uh, the current the charging current to the battery and the voltage uh, across the load or the source yeah so for the ac i think we have discussed already about uh, a sensor called pzem004t so which can measure all these parameters power current voltage frequency power factor all those things uh, for a dc a single module which can measure all these parameter will be a handy so uh, i found this ina219 which is very much useful for our uh, projects related to dc uh, supply and dc sources so i i thought that uh, I would uh, share the information about this INA219 and let us start with what is this INA219 uh, sensor is all about. It looks like this actually this uh, the left side one is a INA219 module it is a very simple uh, module which has a very less number of input and output pins. We have uh, four pins here for uh, supply and uh, uh, you know communication purpose and uh, the circuit where which needs to be monitored or which needs to be measured the voltage current and all those things will be connected to here let us see that in detail in the upcoming slides so let us uh, talk about what is uh, the capability of this particular device so this ina219 can measure up to 26 volt dc and 3.2 amperes current so this is the maximum current and voltage that it can measure and respective power okay and if you need uh, current to be measured more than 3.2 amperes then we can go for the another module the same kind of module but it is having a power capability and current measuring capability little higher so that is INA 226 so which I am going to explain in the upcoming uh, next video okay so in this particular video i am going to discuss only about ina219 so better we will understand the concept of ina219 how to code it how to interface with arduino and in the next video we will discuss about ina226 okay and the basic concept of this ina219 is a shunt current sensor uh, principle so when uh, I think you, you might have come across uh, the multimeter range extension. So whenever you need to measure higher current in the multimeter, then the capacity of the, you know, the digital multimeter you have. So we used to have a shunt uh, resistor, so which will be, uh, you know, forming a parallel path for the current so that you can measure a higher current and then by using a formula we come to know what will be the exact current which is going through the circuit so the same principle is used here also shunt current method so uh, this is uh, designed from uh, texas instruments and then uh, it can be used for many applications as i told you earlier so in the uh, renewable uh, field so where you need to have a, you know um, power generated from the solar fuel cell and sometimes we need to monitor the battery status and all those things where we can use this um, sensor so in case if your solar panel is uh, bigger size and then the battery charging and discharging range is more then we can go for INA 226 in case if it is a smaller one we can use this INA 219 and also we can use this INA 219 for protective uh, you know measures like uh, over current and uh, over voltage or under voltage across a particular uh, circuit can be monitored and uh, it can be taken action so for that purpose as well we can use this INA219 so this is the internal construction of this INA219 and the capabilities are given here the operating voltage so it needs only 3 to 5.5 volt for uh, operating voltage and uh, it can measure from 0 to 26 volt and uh, the current uh, measuring capability will be uh, plus or minus uh, 3.2 amperes and 0.8 milliampere resolution. So that is very important. So it has a very good resolution of uh, 0.8 milliamperes. 
and uh, it has a 0.1 ohm uh, one percentage uh, 2 watts current uh, sensor current sensing resistor so it means uh, you know the tolerance is only one percentage and the 2 watts power rating current sensing is available and 0.1 ohms is very small resistance so that the drop will be less in this uh, resistor so this is the, these are the features of this INA219 um, the pinout for this INA219 uh, it is very much understandable so we have a supply VCC and the ground and SEL and SDA is a communication pin so where you need to communicate to the microcontrollers like Arduino or Raspberry whatever it is so for the communication purpose we have this SEL and SDA pins and VN minus and VN plus are the points where you will connect the uh, circuit which needs to be monitored okay so this SEL and the SDA pins are uh, coming under this I2C communication so I will discuss about this I2C communication in the upcoming slides which will be uh, handy for understanding the concepts as well right so this is a basic connection uh, for uh, interfacing one INA219 with Arduino Uno so you have a uh, source which needs to be uh, connected to the load and the current which is flowing to the load and the voltage across the load or the source and the power uh, delivered from the source or utilized by this load can be monitored using this uh, module and which is connected to SCL SDA pins of this Arduino Uno here and these two are the power supply so very simple connection and uh, it is very uh, useful as well so it's a code for uh, configuring this uh, one INA219 with uh, uh, Arduino Uno. So these are the header files which you need to uh, include when you are using this uh, particular uh, uh, material. So uh, 0 into 40, so this is the address. So since we are using the I2C communication, so it is a bus communication. So we will have a, a different address for different uh, modules. Say if you have uh, three sensors, uh, so you will have three different addresses, say like 40, 41, 42 like that. So you need to mention the address. So that means by using the same SCL and SDA pins, you can connect more number of uh, sensors. So you can save the pins in the Arduino Uno. Say for example, you have five uh, current power voltage measuring devices, these devices. So all those devices can be connected to the same, uh, you know, uh, SEL and SDA pins so that uh, you can save the number of pins so in, since it is connected in bus so we need to address them properly so that is what uh, this uh, 40 is all about so I will tell you how to connect uh, this you know how to get these addresses 40 41 all those things in the upcoming slides so we need to uh, begin the serial port so I am going to show those results in the serial monitor so I need to begin the serial port and uh, um, these are uh, normal lines and here we need to begin this INA uh, sensor then we need to set uh, certain prerequisite uh, uh, lines and here in the functions bus voltage uh, shunt voltage and current uh, all those things are the internal functions which is written in this uh, header file we need not to do bother much about it so just get those values and if you want to just print it we can print it otherwise we can uh, do some action like controlling or it is giving signal so those things can be done so that the same code actually I have connected uh, with uh, LCD and things like that so what I have done I have just connected uh, the INA219 only one uh, module here so the address is 40 I included uh, a liquid crystal so you can see this is also having the I2C um, you know a communication mode so that uh, here I used a 40 and here you can see it is a 20 uh, sorry 27 okay so that is a 20 is a characters and here uh, the address is 27 so that means uh, those two devices are going to be connected in the same SCL and SDA pins but uh, this will have the address of 40 and this will have the address of 27 so I can connect these two devices at the same SCL and SDA pins of Arduino Uno and like this we can connect more number of uh, devices in the same pin all right so in the setup i'm just declaring few things about uh, the sensor and uh, you know the um, lcd and things like that and here in the loop 
I am getting those values from these functions bus voltage and uh, current uh, power all those things and then I am going to print it in the uh, LCD so first I am going to print bus voltage and then current and then I am going to uh, print uh, these values so power voltage current so these three values I am going to print it so we will see the implementation here so this is the implementation part so where I have uh, LCD with I to C communication. So this is my load and we have a battery here 6 volt battery and uh, this is my INA219 sensor module and uh, this is Arduino Uno with a small breadboard for connection purpose and when there is no uh, load connected there so those are the data which is available here and the load is connected now you can see the current uh, how much is the current so it is actually a milliampere I just forget to write uh, it is as a milliampere and uh, the power which is taken by this particular uh, lamp load is uh, 665 milliwatts and the voltage 5.9 volts so it's a 6 volt battery so it is little drained so 5.9 volt as the voltage so this is for uh, measuring a particular battery status and the uh, load current and power consumed by this particular uh, load using INA 219. So in this circuit we can see actually uh, the multiple sensors connected to the um, you know controller and uh, the sources also different. So assume that we have a small solar panel and then we have a small battery 6 volt battery same like the previous example and we have a fuel cell power generation so all these three different sources need to be monitored so either say for example I want to know how much power is being generated from this solar panel and I want to know the battery status voltage and things like that and when the load is connected how much current is taken to the load and uh, things like that and I say here uh, the fuel cell how much uh, the power is being generated or uh, how much uh, you know the voltage and current is being given so here we have a small load as well so that uh, it takes the current as well as the voltage so we can have the uh, power for this fuel cell as well so three different uh, type of uh, sources which needs to be monitored or uh, measured the values and I have a controller here in this case I have a ESP32 module and then here I have a LCD to show the values so I just modified the code for uh, three different sensors so I just want to show this because uh, you know the addressing how it is changing so you can see the here I have uh, 41 44 and 40 so 40 is um, the default address of this INA219 and 41 and 44 is the you know the modified one so I will tell you how to achieve this uh, 41 and 44 in the INA module so these are the three different uh, addresses available for my three different sensors there and also I am using this um, LCD in the I2C configuration so all these four uh, devices are going to be connected in the same SCL and SDA pins of our um, you know Arduino Uno so in our uh, previous picture you can see here so this uh, green color and yellow color uh, these two SCL and SDA pins so all are connected to uh, number one number two and number three sensor as well as for the for the, our um, you know LCD on LCD as well so this uh, black and red for the power supply so since it is connected in I2C configuration so all these devices are connected to same uh, pins so that I can save a lot of uh, pins in the Arduino or the microcontroller and the remaining things are same I am just declaring on the LCD and serial port in the setup and in the loop I am going to write uh, uh, three different uh, for loops for uh, three different sensors so I am going to have here uh, Mm, you know for our first sensor and for the next sensor the next slide we have next sensor and then the third sensor you can have actually a call function for this so no need to write actually three different uh, you know, loops inside the same function so just for understanding I wrote like this so you can have a call function outside the main loop so that you can whenever you need uh, this uh, 
data to be read you can just call them and you can read the value you can save a lot of uh, lines for the code so this is the implementation for uh, three sensors so we here uh, we have uh, sensor number one sensor number two sensor number three and um, here this is my uh, you know the Arduino Uno which is going to control so actually this uh, controller I am not using I am just using only this uh, LCD to show the values and this is one load and this is my second load and uh, another load actually here that is not shown here actually uh, sorry here this is my third load so we have three different loads and so of course there will be a three different current and uh, uh, power the voltage is going to be same because it is coming from the same battery so the current and power will be changed so this is the implementation part so here you can see i have used uh, the another one so i have not used the arduino uno here so i am using uh, esp32 and it, all those are connected in the pcb here so let us see how it works So this is my LCD and where I am just showing the power. I just named as a solar power, wind power and fuel power. So this is my ESP32 and here you can see three different INA219 sensors and some wirings there. And this is my first load and this is my second load. And uh, this is the battery which is supplying everything and this is my third load so since the source is same the voltage is going to be same but the loads are different so that the current will be different as well as the power which is measured will be uh, different you can see um, all those power uh, consumed by that loads are shown here uh, for uh, solar so actually the solar power that uh, incandescent lamp i just connected so it shows uh, 1559 uh, milliwatts and for the second load actually it is only the two leds here in series that is uh, zero uh, 259.4 milliwatts and the third one with uh, more number of leds there which is around uh, six uh, 700 uh, sorry 600 milliwatts so this is for um, in connecting three different uh, current measurement uh, sensors or the power measurements ina219 so that you can measure and monitor uh, multiple sensors Hope it is uh, clear. If you have any doubts, please let me know. And this is very useful uh, sensor module. You will use it in your uh, project as well, I hope. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.